for two or three minutes trying to figure out how I can hide the mess that is my home right now. I can't. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Hi, how are you? Welcome to the Metafast Metallica Mom channel. I'm not in my kitchen. Hi, Mama. Uh, where we talk all things Metafast. My name is Andrea. I am a Take Shape for Life health coach. My house is destroyed. My husband is home. When my husband is home, we don't clean. We don't do anything. We just enjoy family time. But they went out shopping, and I have one kid who's in the other room watching Paranorman, and so now I have some time to do what I need to do. And that is to review, dun dun dun, Metafast snacks. Two popcorns and two chips. I'm not gonna break these up into four different videos or even two different videos. There's not enough to talk about. All right, Metafast came out with these new snacks. These are an optional snack from Metafast. If you're on the five in one plan, you're only supposed to eat one optional snack per day. They came out with two types of chips and two types of popcorn. We're gonna do the chips first. The chips, taste the chips taste better than the popcorn in my opinion okay metafast snacks spicy black bean veggie chips and metafast snacks sea salt and olive oil veggie chips this bag is not opened yet right okay there is 0.39 ounces in here 11 grams Open for the first time. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm not talking. You know why I'm not talking. We have one, two, three, four, five, seven chips. That, man, that many. Mm -mm. They are delicious. These are rock and roll right here. They're kind of like a more firm Pringle. The texture of them reminds me very much of, do you remember Tato Skins? I think TGI Friday's um, you know, went on the like the snack bandwagon and they bought out the Tato Skins people and now you can see there's TGI Friday brand Tato Skins. Their chips in the chip aisle. The bags are usually very small. Um, they're loaded with fat and salt. Not these. These, these are good. But um, they have a, a similar uh, uh, consistency to that. This is the spicy black bean and veggie chips. It's not spicy. It's got a slight flair of a cayenne paper, uh, um, maybe a little, um, little bit of a nacho flavor or something like that. It's hardly spicy. I don't think it's spicy at all. I don't taste bean at all either. The other one, sea salt and olive oil veggie chips. Sister Foods, hi, Metafest loves to do Sister Foods. Opening it for the first time, 0.39 ounces, 11 grams. Mm -hmm. I got bowls. Like, that's it. Like, that's it. You know? It's really not a lot of food. It's really a tease. These are, ooh, these are very much a tease. Yes, this is how many chips you're supposed to have. Excuse me one second. This is how many chips you're, ooh, there's cat hair on it. Okay, that goes in the garbage now. This really is how many chips you're supposed to have. I have a feeling that this men, this 11 grams of regular potato chips probably has the same nutritional count, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to taste another one of these on camera for you. Same exact texture as the other ones to me. I'm going to hold them up and you're going to see the difference. This one is the spicy black bean and this one is the sea salt and olive oil. This one is a little bit bland compared to these. These are rock and roll. These are good too. I like chips. I'm, I'm, I like chips. Um, these are a little saltier. Believe it or not. Hey, cat. These are a little saltier, even though these are the ones that are sea salt and olive oil. And my cat likes them, obviously, because she just licked a few. So, all right. So, um, those are the chips. Here's the popcorns. Okay. I can't open the popcorn like this. 
they made the glue so strong because they don't want the bag to pop during the shipping process that I literally cannot open the bag like this. There's a little notch up here, you see that? So you shake all the popcorn down this way and then you open it like that, okay? I did it twice, I've perfected it because <laughs> it has to do with eating. Now this is definitely more food. Definitely, definitely more food. And again, I'm going to pour this into a bowl for you. I had both the, this is the sea salt popcorn and the cheddar cheese and sour cream popcorn. This felt like enough of a snack. This felt, it felt like it took a while. My husband and I were watching last night and I ate a bag. Under the Dome. Are you watching that show? It's all right. It's not that great. The first episode of Cow got cut in half and I was like, this is the best show ever! And now it's just kind of lame. Anyway, uh, very large kernels. And it's popcorn. This is the um, blander of the two, the sea salt popcorn. I really want this to feel like kettle corn. It's got the same kind of, do you see how there's like the popcorn that has this pattern on it? Let's see if I can. I don't know if you can get that. There you go. You see how it has that pattern on it? And it's a sturdy kernel. It's like, actually take a bite of a kernel. It's like kettle corn. It feels like kettle corn to me, but it doesn't have that sweet thing. I'm wondering if I could take like a little bit of Truvia or something like that and um, sprinkle it on there if I was in it like a desperate situation. But anyway, it's a decent amount of popcorn. Really, if you have one kernel at a time, it will last you with three or four minutes to eat this, okay? Cheddar and sour cream popcorn. Again, swear to you, I can't open it. Can't open it. So I'm just gonna shake it down on the side and do that. Ooh, and make a mess. <laughs> on my bed, I tell my kids not to eat in my room all the time and here I am eating. Again, I like this popcorn butter very cheesy and it doesn't give you um, stuff on your hands so badly like like a cheese doodle would I don't like getting um, I don't like getting salt on my hands and crumbs on my hands and stuff like that very big pieces it's very good it's very good this is my favorite because of the portion ratio to how much I like the product. The cheddar cheese with sour cream is my favorite. I like all of them. The popcorn that's just the sea salt flavor is my least favorite flavor wise. But again, I like the mass, even though it's not really mass, but compared to these, these are such a tease. They're such a tease, it's crazy. They have no protein in them. I don't know if I would tell my clients that they need to get that. If they feel like, excuse me, <laughs> um, if they feel like it's going to be a trigger for them, no, don't fight that. Just don't go near it. Don't fight with foods that you have issues with. It's okay to have issues with food. We're not trying to bust through those issues with food, especially when it comes to like popcorn. You shouldn't make yourself like popcorn. You shouldn't make yourself like chips. It's okay if you don't feel like you can have six chips without stopping, then don't go near the chips, you know? That's all, whatever. My name is Andrea, I'm a Take Shape for Life health coach. If you have any questions about these four products, the Metafast products or the Take Shape for Life program, hit me up, all of my information is down below. 